As the COVID-19 pandemic leaves most college stadiums, arenas, and fields empty, sports fans are left reminiscing on the best parts of game days, whether that be the tailgates, getting together with your friends to watch the game, or in some cases, the staple foods we've all grown to love. IU sophomore and IDS sports columnist Bradley Hohulan wants to show how you can bring a little bit of that experience back home in your kitchen. Hi, I'm Bradley Hohulan. This is my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Coors Field's apple pie nachos. This has been a menu item at Coors Field's concession since about 2017. It is still a concession item there, of course. Nobody's actually going to those games, so I thought I would bring the apple pie nachos right here. I asked Bradley when and why he came up with the idea and how he thinks it relates to the world of sports. So, you know, I'd say my inspiration for this was uh, about five or so months ago, a little, little virus went in to America, took away all of our sports. So I can't really write about live sports right now. However, one thing I do enjoy despite my lack of ability, is to cook. And there is a surprisingly large intersection between food and sports. You've got your tailgating staples. You've got, of course, the things that they sell at concession stands, which tend to be very odd. Last week, I made fried mac and cheese balls. Somewhere down the line, I'll probably make a burgerita. That's a, a pizza, a burger, and a pizza. We'll see how that goes. But for now, we're going to do this. Oven is now preheated to 425, so I will put in our tortilla chips and hope that I don't horrifically burn them. Part of the, uh, part of the idea of this whole little thing is that um, I'm generally making things that I have little to no experience with. Now, that almost always makes for a lackluster product. But it also makes for, in some cases, some pretty good content. For example, that whole time I was putting sugar on those chips, was it just salt? I don't know, they tasted pretty salty, but they also tasted pretty sweet. So, you know. As normal as this recipe might seem, there was one last ingredient that may be a bit odd. I conclude our recipe, or almost conclude, with what is a small bowl of grated cheese. Now you might think, hey, what moron would put that disgusting mass on top of this other disgusting mass? And that's a good question, but the people at Coors Field have been doing it for three years, and they're presumably making a lot of money doing it, so, again, with a heavy heart. Now that is an aesthetic drizzle. I can be proud of that, even if this tastes like hot garbage, which I think out of 10, it, it does a lot for me texturally. You've got the softness of the apples, the chips have a certain crispness to them. It's definitely too much sugar. Definitely has to lose points for that. There's just not enough umami flavor to hold back the sweetness. Um, again, like I said, totally not worth the effort. I would say if you're at the ball game and you're willing to be given a plate of something that you always have to use two hands to eat and that is extremely inconvenient and will probably leave you in a sugar comatose, I'd say it's totally worth it. My iteration, probably like a six out of 10, but if an actual professional made this, I'd say a solid 7.5, 8 out of 10. I'm not going to complain. It's a lot of sugar. I'm happy.